So, hello and welcome back. We are back with Miss Polecki, our plucky little goblin, who is about to go and attack an entire village full of humans with the help of Agatha. And I think that is about the only quest that we have here. So, let's go do it. Now, I do remember that this used to be a really difficult quest. I don't know if it still is, but you know what? We'll find out, won't we? If I can actually manage to find my way around. All right. I also think that Agatha will be nice enough to give us a path of frost to get across this water. That's kind of awesome. Thank you, Agatha. I appreciate it. Yep. Now, like I said, this is probably my number one favorite quest chain. At least in the old world. Uh, waste no time. We mustn't keep the Banshee Queen waiting. If you say so, but you know, I don't know. Thankfully, she fears them more, which is always fun. And she fights with us, which is also fun. Alright, Arthura. We don't even get to loot. She just raises them as the undead. Thankfully, we only have to get 15 of them. So, I'm gonna get busy doing that. Not too bad, we just need to find one more hapless human without pulling 12 more of them. Although, Athura here, or Agatha, does a fantastic job of helping out. Oh, but not always. No, you do so. is good and it looks like we are done with this quest so now we just have to make our way back to the dark lady so I was halfway across the lake when I realized I could just click to complete this quest I thought that was the case no escape you must strike at their leaders Pilecki you will find them holed up in the old keep battle your way inside and find the holdouts turn them for your queen. None shall escape the mighty grasp of the Forsaken. Alright, let's go kill some leaders. Thankfully, I didn't get all the way back to Sylvanas before I realized that. Which basically would have just meant a lot more fighting because uh, most of these guys would have respawned by the time we got back. Alright. Ooh, these guys are sweet. It's a good thing that we have our Sora to help us, but we we'll probably have to heal up Heidi a little bit. Ooh, that hurt. Hurry. No. Hopefully we can make it up to the leadership without too much trouble. Also, seeing through your wings is kind of difficult. You are a wonderful Valkyrie. A Banshee, probably. But your wings get in the way. Thank you very much. I do like to see Morgan seem to go back to her and not to her. But poor Bitey is getting beaten up. Alright. Thankfully. Up oh, this way, Palaki. We will take them by surprise. 
The Forsaken have broken through your defenses, Magistrate. You are out of time. A decision must be made. Die in battle and be raised as a servant of the Forsaken, or drink my blood and be reborn as a worgen, immune to the depravity of the Forsaken. Help us destroy the Forsaken and retake Lordaeron for the Alliance. We would rather die than be turned into worgen, but seeing as how even death provides no relief from the atrocities of this war... Dun, dun. We choose vengeance. Everybody chugs blood and run. Run! Oh no. You know, if she could have flown us like that before, it would have been awfully nice. They've all turned into Morgan. What on earth will Sylvanas do? I think poor uh, Agatha. Oh, actually, she's doing all right. I was gonna say I, th I thought she was getting a little bit beat up, but I think she's doing all right. Also, we have a fantastic view of her rear end. <laughs> Thank you, World of Warcraft armor designers. Maybe we can swing the camera. There we go. I look like I'm swimming. Beats the view of the rear end, though. For me. You know, another player might actually be totally into that. Alright, well, let's see what let's see what the Banshee Queen has to say about that. Ouch. Just drop me, thank you. We are the Forsaken. We will slaughter anyone who stands in our way. We will. It would seem that Crowley is more formidable than I anticipated. Still, he is a man, flesh and bone, full of secrets. Secrets I know all about. You've served me well, Pilecki. I could use someone of your ability at the Sepulcher. I have a plan to deal with Crowley and his insurgents once and for all. Will you help? Of course I will. I have no time for games. <sighs> and we're actually going to do two chunks. We, we will at least start the Sepulchre because this video would only be seven minutes long. Otherwise, I forgot this, this was only a one quest little chunk. Ride with me to the Sepulchre, Plecky. There are many things I wish to discuss with you. It is imperative that you understand the history of Lordaeron and the plight of the Forsaken. Okay. I have not always been the Banshee Queen, and my people have not always been the Forsaken. Long ago, this land comprised the Northern Kingdoms of Lordaeron, ruled by King Terranus Menethil. Terranus had a son named Arthas. Arthas. Even saying his name makes my body quiver in rage. This man-child, Arthas, took for himself a cursed blade known as Frostmourne. Through Frostmourne, Arthas killed his own father and raised this land along with every living creature in it. My own death came at the hands of Arthas, when he and his armies sacked my homeland, Quel'Thalas, and murdered my people. In his vast cruelty, Arthas severed my spirit from my body and raised me as a banshee to serve in his scourge army. A similar fate befell all that would die to the scourge war machine. In death, they were reborn as mindless undead. But Arthas was not invincible. With each passing day, his power waned, his grip over the will of the damned loosening. It was when Arthas was at his weakest that I struck. And though the hour of his atonement had come, 
The worm managed to escape his fate, returning to the frozen wastes of Northrend. With Arthas gone, so too was the control he held over the undead masses of Lordaeron. After recovering my body, I freed the remaining scourge that were left behind. From the cruelty and mercilessness of Arthas, the man who would be Lich King, the Forsaken were born. Our goal, our sole purpose, was to destroy the Lich King. We threw our lot in with the Horde, and began our journey towards redemption. Now, the Lich King is dead, and we have returned. The people who called this land their home in life, do so in death as well. But the Alliance does not recognize our rights. They claim this land as their own, while attempting to invalidate the claims of the founders of this kingdom. I will never allow it. Never! Lordaeron belongs to the Forsaken. Always and forever. So, we learned a lot. Definitely, definitely learned a lot. Well, that definitely taught us a lot about Sylvanas' motivations, which is, I think, why I love this quest chain so much, other than the fact that it's just a very well-designed quest chain. So now here we are at the Sephlacur. Before we turn this in, we will do a really quick tour. It's your basic parky in the middle of the camera and standing right in front of the screen, I can't see through you. I can't see through you. You want to play too? Your rear end is right literally in front of the screen. Cats don't care at all, do they? Hi. What are you doing? You want your time in the sun? You should get down. Alright. Down you go. Cats are silly. Alright, let's do a really quick tour though. Like I said, it's, it's your typical Forsaken style architecture. Very cool though. I do love the candles. Especially a last poor Yorick up there. And I do believe that there is a nice little bedroom up here. You just have Hello. to share the room with Aster. <laughs> He's running late. And, you know, as long as you don't mind a coffin in your bedroom and a Forsaken as your footman, this is a fantastic no little one. place to hang out. And go up the stairs incorrectly but yeah you've got that um, if you are a profession person there are several trainers that are back here and down at the bottom of this crypt pretty cool you've got glory the, to the Sindora. one poor blood elf who's just hanging out like why am I here? Anaria Shola He's like, well, Matt, I am here as a resource of advice for the High Executor, to make use of as he will. I am confident that together we can forge the Horde into something that is even stronger than before and turn back the Scourge. Hold you know, your head high. Good luck, my dude. But yeah. So, let's see what Lady Sylvanas would like us to do in this area after we pick up this flight point. What joy is there in this curse? Do you now understand the importance of our miss mission here? Crowley and his Alliance dogs must be stopped. What are we if not slaves to this torment? Well, I don't know about you, but... Um, Pilecki is a pretty plucky chick, so... Honor the dead. A convoy of veteran troopers and forsaken catapults were ambushed earlier today when attempting to cross Olsen's Farthing, directly south of here. 
It was a total loss. All troopers were killed, all catapults destroyed. Bloodfang's pack was responsible for the ambush, and though likely they have all fled back into the hills, preparing their next cowardly strike, <laughs> their day will come. But for now, I want you to go to Olsen's Farthing and honor our fallen. Recover their forsaken insignias. All right, I will give that a try. Looks like there's also a couple more quests over here. Oh, hey, Warlord! Warlord Torek and Admiral Hatchet are back. Bravo. Hair of the dog. Thank the War Chief that you're here, Pilecki. I've made a critical error with the Sea Dogs, and I need your help to rectify the situation. You see, I sent them out against the Worgen coming from Fenris Isle. Stone Cold Sober. They attacked the beasts and promptly got their butts handed to them. Many of them died, but a few still live, barely clinging to life. Take this barrel of ale to the decrepit fields east of here. Force it down their throats. <laughs> so we need Strength. to... Strength. Give some ale out of the keg on our back. I love the keg. To some fallen sea dogs. And Great. Admiral Hatchet. Those that survived your assault on Fenris managed to drink the blood of the wolf. They turned into ferocious worgen, hell-bent on vengeance. Now they paddle across Lordomir Lake and assault my sea dogs. Many have already been killed. The worgen monsters must be stopped. Make your way to the decrepit fields east of here and kill the hillsbred worgen that infest the area. Once you've killed them all, Make your way to the Horde communication panel located at the docks. I will be in touch. Go forth to victory. All right, so we need some insignias, which would be behind us, and we also need to go and fight some worgen and raise some sea dogs. We'll do that first. It sounds like more fun. Oh, and look, there's one of the enslaved Etten up ahead being forced to pull wagons. <laughs> That's actually kind of hilarious. And you can ride that wagon. It's a lot of fun, actually. Right, let's kill us some Morgan and see if we can find some sea dogs to booze, I mean, to, to give medicine to. I see a sea dog. Hello, my dude. Have some ale. Crush and clobber, blobber, slobber. <laughs> oh, I do love the orc sea dogs. He's a little drunk, and he's a little late. Or did he go off to fight on his own? He did. What you doing there, dude? I didn't want to fight that way. He's just going to go fighting everything. Oh, that's fine. He can have one. I see another sea dog to rescue. Here you go, my friend. Ah, oh, he said the same thing. That's kind of boring. I was hoping he would say something new. Oh, he did show up, though. Good job. Thank you. And then he just goes off wandering on his own. That's the trouble with orc sea dogs. The alcohol helps, but they get a little bit lost in translation. That's all right. I see another one to revive. Here you go. Orc needs peanuts. Okay, I mean, you know. <laughs> Beer and peanuts are supposed to go fairly well together, I guess. What do you need? You need peanuts too. I'm just reviving sea dogs left, right, and sideways. And I see the place we need to turn in our quest, which is a good thing. And there is another sea dog to rescue. You gonna say anything new? I may or may not have pissed myself. 
<laughs> I would hope that you would know. I mean... Yeah, you can definitely tell Blizzard has a lot of fun writing these quests. My power has returned! Oh, and we have leveled up. Give me about two seconds to reset my talents. Alright, back to it. Let's revive this dude. What's up, my dude? Crushing clobber, blobber, slobber. Blobber, slobber. That is something I normally don't think of with crushing clobber. I guess it rhymes, though. Who would have thought that orcs were poets? And our last sea dog. Here you go, my dude. My power has returned. Well, you go have fun. Have a little bit of a fight. Now, if you did not know, this guy here, if you have fishing and, and you, uh... Uh, cooking as professions, actually has two recipes that Watch are kind of hard to come by. So, if you would like two more recipes for cooking, just come over here and talk to old Killian. Hatchet's communication device crackles. Hatchet here. Are they all dead? Well, some of them. The communication console hums. Those worgen you killed were the scouting party. There are hundreds more incoming. Looks like Crowley and Bloodfang made the blood offering to every human in Lordaeron. Get in one of those horde cannons and send them all back to their makers. Let the waters of Lordamir Lake run red with their blood. Alrighty. I mean, here we go. If this is not terribly wonky, we should, hopefully. Here they come. You know, the trouble with playing both sides both factions is you can actually kind of sympathize with both sides of the story. Like, I understand why the Worgen are massing, but at the same time, I definitely understand why the Forsaken are defending. I think that's one of the really good things that World of Warcraft did for players that didn't just decide that they could only be on one side. Also, oh, nope, we need ten more. I thought I had finished. But yeah, I mean, seeing both sides of the story is always best, I feel. Whoop, and into the water we go. Anything good under here? Darn, no. Poor Bitey's like, Mom, why did you jump in? Eh, it was a shortcut, Mr. Bitey. Alright, we have to make our way back to the sepulchre now. I think before we turn this in, we're gonna go see if we can recover some of those forsaken insignia. Oh, and it looks like we might get a quest out of these guys. Yes, we will. Excising the taint. It looks like a group of the ambushers stayed behind. Make them pay for their insolence. Kill all of the Bloodfang stalkers at Olsen's Farthing. For Sylvanas. For the Horde. Or at least kill ten of them. Which is fine, because we have to find some dead bodies to get insignia off of. Rude. It's a good thing that they go down fairly easily. We need to find some corpses. I am not really seeing many. There we go. Oh, I see a corpse. That's good. You know, this teleporting behind me makes me wonder if they're not rogues. And much better rogues than I am. That's one. Alright, well I'm going to get to it. Last of the Worgen down. The Banshee Queen's voice invades your thoughts. 
You have avenged the fallen, Plucky, but there is more to be done. There's always more to be done. But I think we only need this last badge and then make our way back to the Banshee Queen, who thankfully is just over that hill. Hopefully without running into any bears or wargans or feral pigs. Oh my. Many, many diseased bears. Bears everywhere. That was terrible. All right, well, we did it. We roused the troops, we killed a bunch Strength of worgen. Though you killed a large number of the newly turned worgen, many more are sure to appear. Still, their assault will have softened. Well done. Strength. Also, I think I could use those boots. Definitely, thank you. Rooktar. Aha! I knew it. Lesson learned, I suppose. We will not fail again. I will be sure to have ale on hand on, at the front lines. <laughs> okay. May your blades never die. You know, I mean, if, if it takes booze to make your soldiers fight, I guess that's what you do. We are the Forsaken. Yes. We will slaughter anyone who stands in our way. Well, I'm a goblin, but this is fun. I have no time for games. Have you recovered the insignias? Yes. What joy is there in this curse? I will see to it that these insignias are returned to the Undercity at once. The Registrar will place their names in our records so their sacrifice may never be forgotten. Thank you. Alright. What are we if not our slaves to this torment? Militate. You've avenged the fallen, yes. We I are know. the forsaken. Seek we will slaughter anyone who stands in our Search way. Search the nearby farmhouses for Alliance stragglers. Keep an eye out for any information that could lead us to Crowley and the Bloodfang. Seek and destroy. I should have clicked and finished that quest while I was still at the farm, so we have to make our way back. That wasn't too bad. Only had to fight a little bit to get here. Let's go check the barn. Do I see anything? Ah! I see Caretaker Smithers. Fighty, help. Shoot with your rockets. There we go. I always forget that I have a belt rocket because I'm a goblin. Oh, Smithers Logbook. What is your status? The Banshee Queen's words float in your head. This book documents a recent meeting with Ivor Bloodfang. The location mentioned is the Deep Ellum Mine. I know of this place. It has only one entrance. We will corner and crush them. The Banshee Queen speaks again through our mind. Ugh. This is the problem with reading the glass. You sometimes have to fight a little bit. All right, we must act quickly, Kalecki. They mustn't be given the chance to flee. I am dispatching a squadron of my most powerful troopers to the Deep Ellum Mine. I'm also sending the horsemen with them to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Meet him at the mine, east of Olsen's Farthing, and crush those rats. Okay. Off we go to the mines. After being ambushed twice, that worgen definitely did not want to die. I mean, I know worgen are tough, but that was a little ridiculous on the respawn, right? Alright, off we go. On an even better note, we leveled up just killing stuff on our way to get here, and here we are at the Deep Ellum Mine. Hello, Master Forseki, the horseman. This had better be good. I suppose we're to corner them first and then crush, eh? Probably. The mistress has put me in charge of this lot. Our primary mission is to get in there, corner the rats, and kill them all, including Bloodfang. 
You've done us a solid service in getting the information, Pilecki. Join in the glory and help us drive a sword through their miserable skulls. Let me know when you're ready, and I will ch call for the charge. Dark lady, right, well, I, over you. I'm totally ready. Let's go. Speak quickly. I, I, I mean, I, I am ready. Let's go. Are you coming? There we go. Into the mines. You guys can go first. Nice mine. You skeletons. There's always skeletons. That's a lot of dynamite. What's this then? That's that's a lot of dynamite. Oh no! Ow! Oh, they're all dead. He threw us. Remember this day that Forseki saved your hide. Now, get back to Sylvanas. Oh, she's gonna be so mad. <sighs> it was a trap. That is terrible. I'm not sure Sylvanas is gonna be very happy. But, we made it. I mean, I guess that's that's always the good part. Maybe. Silver Pine Forest is absolutely beautiful. I remember thinking that even back when I first quested through it. that it was an absolutely gorgeous zone. Hey, that bear did not notice us. That is always a bonus. Um, hello, Lady Sylvanas. Uh, yeah, we did not kill a bunch of worgen and bloodfang. Instead, it was an ambush. Hate to tell ya. Hopefully you won't, like, make us an undead zombie, or an undead goblin. Although that would be kind of cool. If, if your undead could be any race other than just undead human. <sighs> Here we go. Reporting our failure. What joy is there in this curse? What? Sylvana shrieks. Crowley. Bastards. Those were some of our strongest soldiers. I have underestimated Crowley and Bloodfang for the last time. Clearly. They are an enemy the likes of which we have never seen, willing to sacrifice their own to set a trap like this. Unheard of in alliance warfare. Um, I will take that weapon, thank you. I have no time for games. Forsaken forward command. The time has come to destroy Crowley Bloodfang and every dog at their command. To do this, though, will require cunning and planning the likes of which they would never dare dream. As one of my most trusted soldiers, Plecky, I need you to go to the Forsaken Forward Command located in Gilneas and report to Death Stalker Commander Belmont. I've sent Belmont ahead with my plans. He awaits your arrival. Athura will escort you to Forward Command. Tell me when you're ready, and I will send you on your way. All right. Ah, well, I was going to end it there, but I guess we'll end it when we land at the new area of the Forward Command. Thank you, Arthura, for flying us. I see that you're wearing the same armor as your sister. Probably it's very comfortable. I don't think it would be good if it was cold outside, though. Look at the plague wagons down below. Very cool. Off we go to Gilneas. Going right through the broken wall. I do love Gilneas. This is one of the only times that you actually get to do any questing in Gilneas other than going through the Gilnean Starter Zone. This is a criminally underused area of this game because it is beautiful.
beautiful. Anyway, this is where we are going to leave it. We will turn this in when we get back. Let's go discover this here flight point and see. Yep, I think we'll just kind of chill out here in this tent. So from Pilecki and me and Bitey, who's off doing something, we will see you next time.